full name. I like first and last name. Krista Kern. Uh, where are you from? I was born in Buffalo, New York, but moved to Texas when I was two months old and lived in Amarillo for 21 years before moving here. Uh, so you live in Amarillo? Mm hmm. Uh, how long ago did you move here? Um, 10 years ago. Um, before you were at Sierra, where else have you worked? Um, I started at Texas Children's in the Medical Center. I've worked for um, Kelsey Siebold Clinic, and I've worked for um, Memorial Hermann Children's Hospital. And where do you work now? I'm through Amboy Independent School District. I'm a school nurse here at North Bell Elementary. How long have you been with Northville? Since the beginning of school, so a few months. So, um, so your current title is school yes, nurse. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a school nurse? Is this your first year? This is the first time. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you like your job so far? Yes. Okay. Do you like working with the kids? I do. Um, what are your primary like responsibilities as a school nurse? Um, we have a lot of responsibilities. We have to, well, first of all, we see all the kids that come into the clinic who are sick um, in, in first aid. We um, keep up with all immunizations. Um, we keep up with, um, we do hearing and vision screening through the, that's mandated through the state of Texas. Um, we do scoliosis screening. We do a diabetes assessment. Um, we teach um, dental hygiene. We also teach growth and development. We, there's quite a bit that we that we keep up with. Wow, I didn't know there's all that. And then, um, did you know early on in life that you wanted to be a nurse? Yes, I did. Probably since uh, middle school. Maybe that's what I wanted to be. Um, was there someone who inspired you to be a nurse? No, not really. Not a particular person. No. Okay. Is there any like? What made you pick nursing? Um, I picked nursing because I like to care for people. I like that. Um, and I wanted to go to school for something that I knew that I would have a job yeah. for if I was going to work that hard. Then yeah. I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to use my degree. Yes. So that's why I picked nursing. Yeah. So what degrees do you have? Um, I have a bachelor's of science in nursing. Okay. Where did you go to school? I went to West Texas A&M University, and it's in Canyon, Texas, which is right outside of Amarillo. Um, what kind of like classes did you take in nursing school? Um, well, we did all our undergraduates, so we did all the biologies and chemistries and anatomy and physiology and English and all that stuff. And then when we got to nursing school, we did um, you know the basic. Nursing 101, we did pharmacology, um, research, med surge, PD, critical care. Then we had a leadership rotation. We did. We went through all the different rotations. Okay, so you got to like learn in every department. Right. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of advice would you give to a future nursing student? Um, probably the best advice I could give them is to really get in there and work in the hospital setting if you can, especially in your latter year part of your nursing um, school where you're able to work as a nurse tech. Um, I learned more, because I worked as a nurse tech while I went to school my last year, and I learned more from the nurses doing that because they would teach me things, as I, even though I was a tech, but I still learned from them a lot. Yeah. And most of the stuff you learn is going to be real experience in there and not textbook. Okay. so. Um, what was your favorite um, thing, classes in nursing school? Um, I love the pediatric rotation because that's what I've always done um, in the newborn nursery and in the neonatal ICU. And I also like my leadership rotation because I actually worked um, the whole rotation in the newborn nursery. And um, what what kind of what would you say to to a new nursing student for handling school and work? Um, just Try to be done with your assignments early if you can. Be very organized. The probably the best thing about being to be a nurse, my the 
one attribute that you I think you have to have is you have to be organized because you have to be organized in school trying to balance everything and get everything done and then once you're out of school I mean when you're out of school and you're working you may have five patients and they all have different needs and they need to go here and there and you have to be organized you have to create an organizational system for yourself um, was did you take any communication or speech courses yes we have to have speech and then how long did it take you to get your nursing degree? Um, it took me four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Did you go to a and the whole four years? Yes. Do you plan on um, continuing your education and getting higher degrees? Um, I might. I'm kind of at a stopping point right now because I have two small kids and they need me mm -hmm. for my their time. Um, but once they're done and they don't need me as much anymore, I may go back for myself. Oh. Um, and overall, you really you enjoy your job? I love it. Um, what's your favorite part about being a nurse? Um, I think working hands-on with people. Um, you get to build a lot of different relationships with people that you normally wouldn't. Um, in watching people grow into in um, doing different things, like they may have come in for a certain problem, and you kind of work them through that, and they get to the point where they they can manage it themselves or, or do different things by themselves. That's awesome. So. Um, in what situations have you been in? Are there communication challenges or, or ch are challenges most likely to occur? Um, communication challenges are probably going to be between nurse and physician. Um, a lot of times, not a lot of times, but sometimes you do have dissension between the physicians and the nurse. And um, it kind of gets kind of tricky sometimes because you have, you know what, you're, what you can do as far as the Nurse Practice Act. And sometimes the physicians don't, and so there's a fine line sometimes that you have to walk when a physician wants you to do something, and you know that you can't, and you have to tell them no. You know I can't do that, and that can cause a lot of dissension. Um, and then other the other one would be because working with the children, not only do you treat the children, you treat the parents. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you know the parents don't like to hear what you have to tell them, but unfortunately you have to tell them. Um, what would you say your communication strengths are? Oh goodness. Um, I think I'm very honest, and um, I try to I try to look at the other person's perspective before I say something. Mm -hmm. So I try to look at what they've what has gone on, what their opinion is, and whether or not you know it's validated or not. Because sometimes they do have a point. Um, yeah. So I try to look at the other person's opinion before I talk to them. Okay. Um, do you think you have any communication weaknesses? Um, yes, I do. I don't like confrontation. That's one thing I don't. I don't like confrontation. So that's something that I've really had to work with because um, you are confronted. You know, sometimes if something's happened and the physician is upset or a parent now, you know, is upset, mm -hmm. then you have confrontation. You have to. Um, have you had any type of like cultural competency training for to help you yes. working with people in different backgrounds? We've had a lot of culture. Oh, well, here in the school district, I would say no, they don't really, there's not a lot of that. But in working in the hospital system, we have a whole section, I mean, we have competencies on cultural, on different cultures. Do you think that's helped you a lot in working? Yes. Um, what are some of the challenges of communicating with people, uh, whether they're patients or coworkers from different uh, cultural backgrounds? Sometimes you have to, it's hard because sometimes, you know, it's a, more of the matriarch makes all the decisions. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't like eye contact, but and then trying to remember all those, you know, the different mm -hmm. things. Some people don't like you to touch them, you know. Um, so sometimes it's hard just figuring out who is what, and then if they do have any cultural preferences, and they follow them because some people may be from a different cult a different culture, but they don't follow their mm -hmm. cultural preferences. So sometimes it's kind of hard to judge. Okay. Um, what about um, language barriers? How do you handle language barriers? Well, I'm trying to learn more Spanish. <laughs> I've tried, and, you know, I, I do the best that I can, and mm -hmm. I let them know that I, I don't speak Spanish fluently. Mm -hmm. I will try, and then we always have, you know, an interpreter or something that I, I can get for them. Okay. And you know you're learning Spanish, or? I took Spanish in high school for four years, and I used to be fluent. And then I lost it because mm -hmm. I never used it. Very minimal. And then now 